Hello and welcome to another Mod Spotlight. Today I will be showing you the Capture Log Celadex mod. This is a mod which makes your inventory hard to use on purpose. So as you can see right now I've got no items in my hotbar. If I open my inventory I don't even have slots except for this one. So this mod adds items called fetch modices and they basically control how your inventory functions and you need to put one here. Um, you will spawn with one normally, but for this video I've just put them all in a chest. So the most basic one you can have is the stack fetch modus. And what this does, I can't scroll my hotbar, I can only access items in the opposite order I put them in. So if I put in some stone and then some granite, I can see the stone, but I can only use the granite. And once I've used up all my granite, then I can use the stone. And I should give myself a pickaxe. this mod has some issues with the creative inventory so it's best to do this in survival. If I mine the granite and then I pick up the granite, now I can't use my pickaxe. So if you're unlucky enough to get this as your starting modus, you might want to soon upgrade to a Q modus. I cannot show you the recipes, those will be at the end. The Q modus is pretty similar, still can't scroll my hotbar, but when I add new items, they go to the end instead of the beginning. And this basically means that I can scroll through my inventory. I can at least cycle it by doing this, and when I mine something, it doesn't replace my mining tool. So I can't click on these. The next one is the Q stack modus. This is basically a combination. So this is basically the last slot in the queue. And when I do this, it cycles through the queue. And I can use this first slot, but I can also use this last slot. So whatever the last thing is, it, it always goes into this position and you can use it. Um, the next one is, oh, I just dropped everything, didn't I? And there was a little glitch here. Yes, um, if you accidentally remove your modus, your items should be scattered around somewhere. Here they are. Um, they do not get deleted, you just have to look for them. I should put my stuff in this chest before I demonstrate anything else. Um, so that's the Q-Stack modus. The next one that you may start with, other than stack, is the tree modus, leaf mode. So what this one does is it turns your items into a binary search tree. So the first thing you put in always goes at the top, but the next thing I put in will either go left or right depending on where it is in the alphabet. So polished granite comes after granite because P comes after G, so it will go on the right, but you can't see that because there is only one. And diorite is before granite because D comes before G, so it will go on the left. And the trick with this modus is you can only access the items at the bottom. So I can't access this granite. Um, also this combines stacks, even if they're more than 64. So if I grabbed another stack of granite... Oh, 
just one granite. Now I have 65 and I still can't use any of it. What did I do with my diorite? Um, there are still some bugs, so I'm not sure if my diorite just got deleted or if I dropped it accidentally. I'll have to review the video. Um, but yeah, that's it. If, if that got deleted, that's not supposed to happen. Um, so the new, and this can go for more than one level, so let's just add some items. So now grass comes after diorite, but before polished diorite, so it goes there, and now I can't access the polished diorite, and there is a scroll bar. I can't scroll with the mouse wheel, but I can scroll with the scroll bar. And my hot bar only has the grass and not the polished diorite. There is also a root mode for the tree. And now, instead of only accessing the stuff at the bottom, I can only access the stuff at the top. And what will happen if I grab this? What will happen to all the stuff under it? Well, I will just drop it. So, this is not a very useful mode. Because every time you grab anything, you drop everything. Leaf mode is much better. Next we have the hash table modus. So when I've got this equipped, and only when I've got it equipped, you can see that it highlights the letters in these names and it tells you the hash slot. So basically how this works is every consonant is worth two points and blue. Every vowel is worth one point, and it's red. And those are all added up. And the result is divided by eight. And you take the remainder, and that is which slot you can put it in. So this is hash slot zero, and it can only fit in this slot. It can't fit in any other slot, only this one. This one only goes in slot two. This one also only goes in slot two. And what happens to the coal that was in there? Well, that gets dropped. If I shift click, same thing. Whatever was in that slot, I just drop it. Oh, there, is that my diorite? Oh no. I told you, it's annoying. Anyway, I think I needed something somewhere, but let's just ignore that. So that's the hash table. Um, one other feature of the hash table, so this is hash 3, so um, if you say something in chat, if you yell it loud enough, you will drop that item. Um, when you drop items from this mod, they will try to go towards nearby mobs and hurt them, basically. Like, the items don't just fall, you don't just drop the items, you actually launch them at high speed. So yeah. I think leather and beef have the same slot, which is just a pain. You can't pick up your drops from that cow. Um, if you have a different language, I'm not quite sure how this will work. This is designed for English. So there's the hash table. And finally, in the basic set, is the array, which is just a perfectly normal inventory. And you might ask, why don't you just use this all the time, and wait until you see the recipes? at the end of this video. Um, you can combine the hash table and the array with some of the other ones. So I can have a Q hash table, and now I have these columns. 
So this is hash slot 2, and it goes in this column, and because the column is a queue, um, it always goes to the end, and I can cycle through them. Uh, and if I say something with hash code 2, uh, I've now dropped whatever was in that slot, and the next thing has come down to replace it. Stack hash table, basically the same thing, but opposite order, so cobblestone, that's at the bottom now, new things go at the bottom, so now my gravel's at the bottom, and you can't cycle things because they always go to the bottom. Q stack hash table. As you can see, it highlights the top and bottom when I mouse over them. So cobblestone is the last thing I added, so I can access that. Gravel is the first thing, so I can access that. Um, only the bottom ones go in your hotbar, because there aren't enough hotbar slots to have the top as well. Is there anything else here with code 2? Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter what slot you click on, generally. So, like, it always adds up here, even if I click down here, and then this shifts down. Um, the array hash table. It's a combination array and hash table. So, these can only go in slot 2. But within slot 2, I can put them in any location that I want. But not in any other slot. Um, same thing with the array. You can have Q array, which is combination Q and array. You get these mini Qs. Each column is a Q, but you have an array of Qs, so it doesn't matter which column you put them in. And of course there is a stack array and a queue stack array. And last is this memory modus, which is kind of special. Let me just grab a bunch of items first. So I have a bunch of items, but I can't see them. And you basically have to match the item so if I find two of the same item, it uh, looks like there's a bug with the tooltip. There we go, that took longer than it should. Um, so now I've matched these two slots, so I can just grab the thing from either of them. I can put it in these two normal slots, so I can actually use them on my hotbar. And I can chuck stuff back into the pool of items. And this is re-randomized every time you open your inventory. So if we just remember, there's dirt, there's granite here, stone there, and there's nothing else in these two columns. Now I open it again. Now it's different. Now it's different again. And again, um, every item has to show up at least twice. So if you have more than half your inventory full, some items won't be here, and that's when you might need to re-randomize it. If we go back to array, we can see what's actually in there. So yeah, that's it for Capture Log Celadex. I will be back in a moment when I install REI and I will show you the recipes. Okay, so I'm back with the recipes. Um, instead of installing REI, I just put them in a chest to show you. So the stack modus is the cheapest and most useless one, and that is made from any logs, doesn't have to be oak, and any planks, it doesn't have to be oak, and it doesn't have to be the same as the logs. Um, the Q modus is the upgrade you will very much want to get if you start with a stack by random chance. Um, 
that only takes cobblestone and coal. And so you will have to have a bit of a mining adventure with your stack modus. The one that replaces your pickaxe before you can upgrade to that. The tree modus is of course made with a tree and some iron. If you want the root mode, which you don't, the mode can be switched back and forth by putting it in any crafting table. The hash table modus takes one piece of gold and some iron. The array modus is very expensive, um, and there's basically two alternate recipes um, to match vanilla's kind of two adventure pathways you can go on. There's the ocean one with the nautilus shells, 27 diamonds, and a conduit. And there's the wither one with the wither skeleton skulls, three diamonds, and an ether star. Both of those recipes will give you an array modus. There are all the combinations here, so Q plus stack equals Q stack. Array plus Q stack or Q stack gives you an array of Qs, stacks, or Q stacks. And hash table plus Q stack, Q stack, or array gives you a hash table of that thing. Um, you probably don't want to upgrade your array modus. Array is the best thing there is. You, these, these are really just gimmicks. I think you can find some of these in dungeon chests as well. Some of these combinations. Um, lastly, the memory modus has no recipe and you can only find it in dungeon chests. Thanks for watching.